Now let's visit a fourth generation roadside farm market in Utica, Kentucky. I'm fourth generation on the farm here and my father and I still work together and we grow corn and beans and wheat and we grow about 50 acres of vegetables. And this part of the farm actually got started the year after I graduated high school. I um, grew about an acre of sweet corn. We sold it in the front yard out the back of the pickup truck and it just kind of expanded from there. But it all goes back to that one acre of sweet corn and the very next year we moved it from the front yard to an old tobacco barn. Built a little lean-to shed on the front of it. We sold corn, sweet corn and tomatoes. It was about our only two products. And we sold it on the honor system. Didn't even have someone working it for a few years. In 2000, we started growing pumpkins. And that's when the market really started growing. And that's really when we honestly started treating it like a, a real business. The facility that you see here, it was open in June of 2008 and it was about a six-year process to get to that opening date from the time we started planning. Value-added products is, is what's so special about this market. We have products from all over the state of Kentucky and we are also making our own bread and we make our own homemade fudge that's made weekly. The, the bread's made daily so it's fresh and uh, we're making about 12 different kind of breads, making jalapeno cheese bread, apple bread and just many others. Well, for 2010, we opened what we call our Family Fun Acre. There's lots of farm-related themed activities. There's lots of mazes that, it's not just a, a, a game, it's actually, they're learning something. Um, mazes with instructions they have to follow. We have a corn maze with eight interactive stations inside it that answer questions about the farm. And, and there's uh, all kind of activities, climbing on straw that, that we took for granted as children did it all the time, you know, climbed up in the hayloft and, and had fun and these kids get the opportunity to do that in our family fun acre. And we teach them about the honeybees and the importance of, of the pollen, what they do for us as far as pollination goes. Um, we do spring planting tours where we actually start with the seed, they get to plant their own seeds to take home. And so they learn about that, that planting process, the growing, and then they can come back in the fall and learn about the harvest process and what goes on there. They are disconnected from the farm life and the more that we can bring that into the classroom uh, and teach them, I think that we're better off to do so. We read to the kids every day and there's no way they can understand what is inside a book until we can take them into an area and let them see for themselves. Because we do have some children that do come from farms and we have other children, children that do not and it just... Uh, we, we never know what they're going to be or what they want to be when they grow up. And the more that we can give them, the more that we can teach them and let them see and feel in touch, the better off that we are. Education about the farm, that's what we're trying to do here. So many kids don't even have the opportunity to, to even step foot on a farm anymore. And we've opened our farm up for these children so they can actually see it and feel it. And, and hear about it and learn about it. People want to know where their food comes from these days. They, they want to know that it, it was grown locally. They want to know how it was grown and we can tell them that. You know, we, they ask us questions, we can tell them exactly how we grew it and where we grew it. And, and they, they just want to know where it's coming from and want to know that it's not being shipped for thousands of miles before it comes to their